You guys gotta see this. The fast food speaker is out, so that guy is sitting in a chair collecting orders. That guy deserves a raise. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. We're at the beautiful camper. It's gutted. It's it's pretty well gutted. Yesterday, all that there was was, was one hallway. Got it. You could barely fit, you know, one person going through a hallway. Now the bathroom's out. The closet's out. Cabinets are out. Floors and ceilings are, are partially out. And we got breakfast in us. We're ambitious today, and we're ready to get some more done. Man, every time I think about this situation and this toilet, I always think of Eddie. What did, what did he say to Clark? This is an RV. No, 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 after that. First of all... <laughs> hey, the good news is we don't gotta go far. Your business right there. Oh my goodness. I removed the toilet. Jake's working on, what are you working on? Light fixtures or showers? What are you working I on? Change my name back to Jason. Well, what did I just call you? Jake. Did I call you Jake? Yeah. That should be a privilege, man. He's the toilet snake. It's cold in here. It's like probably 30 degrees, 32 degrees in here. Uh, I need to get the blood moving. We, Jason and I both gotta get the blood moving. I can barely feel my hands right now. And, and Jason's hands can't stay very warm with his coffee because he spilt half of it on the uh, on the floor there and down the cabinet here. You know, this was a nice cabinet until Jason came along. We're trying to get the bathtub out. Today we're rocking out with the tunes. The copyright free music, of course, because YouTube doesn't like when we use copyrighted music. Easy, what are you doing back there? Holy smokes. I think you're getting it. So that just sits right under the bathtub so you can pull that right out. Yep. And then when you're done with it, you just throw it back in that little hole. Yep. That's kind of neat. the shop we gotta get some stuff we gotta grab a broom a dustpan and oscillating tools or anything else I got a list I do have a list if you fail to prepare you prepare to fail that's how it goes speaking of preparation I do want to give out some shout outs to people that should prepare to look extremely fly Glenn G Amanda G this is a foreign name I'm gonna try it Molly no s Robin F Thomas C Kyle E Don V we got a plug VIP Motorsports Josh B Cameron W James C Dalen H and Sheila K. Your super froggy fresh machine merch is on its way. Razor, extension cord, broom, dustpan, and and generator. Jason wanted a vacuum, but I don't have a shop vac, so. Does that disappoint you? It does. <laughs> so we're just heading around back of Ace, and I'll tell you what, I've never been to Ace before, but these guys are killer. Literally, I'm walking towards the cash register, this one chick, like, takes the stuff out of my hand, is like, Yep, I'll go ahead and take this to the cash register for you. So then we start buying some other stuff. She did that, and then the other guy's like, hey, where do you want this wood? And I'm like, you can throw it in the back of the truck. Like, customer service that I've never, ever seen before. Ace is doing it right. Guys Ace. Guys Ace. G -Y -S. Ace is the place. Ace, if you want to do a brand deal, no problem at all. Here's our old piece, here's our new piece. Traced it out. Gonna cut this one so it fits that. Oh. 
I know a lot of you machine freaks and machines are interested in, in understanding like why I, I went this route instead of just buying an enclosed trailer and, and things of that nature. Um, I kind of think of this, this trailer like clothing. Uh, before I had machine merch, I'd buy all the big brands like Nike, Adidas, Oakley, all, all those brands. Those are the only brands I would buy, so no matter what the price tag said, that's what I was buying. Now I have machine merch, so I don't really go out and buy other brands, to tell you the truth. Where I'm going with this is the fact that I don't have to keep track of what I pay on this thing because I know I'm much more money ahead. But since you guys are interested in this, I will I'll give you guys an expense sheet. So our first expense ever came out to $65.82. Yep, right there. What do you think? The ceiling, the ceiling, all the ceiling joists completed. A couple pieces for the wall frames. If you want to have the cost of just going out there and back with the trailer, you're probably looking at 30 bucks in diesel fuel. If you're looking at the four times that I had to go out there, then you can multiply that by four. This information is for the people that are only like really, really interested in the expenses and stuff, but I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there. We get a lot of viewers, we get a lot of machines, so. Just trying to be transparent with you guys. Jason gave me the go ahead to start up the generator. We're using that generator that I fixed when our power went out. We've been working on the joists up top. We got them all installed. The generator was supplying electric to the camper. Check that out, it dug its, uh, a hole for itself. It was like, the, the motor was halfway in it and the engine was halfway in it. That's like two or, that's like three or four inches. So we got three new joists here, two up here. Jason wants to see if this air conditioner works or at least turns on. So I gotta go fill up the generator back up with gas, fire it up and we'll see if this thing turns on. We still got a couple more hours. The sun's not close to being set yet. This time of year it goes right behind his house but later on in the year it'll set over there. Ready? Yeah. Breaker on? Breaker's on. Nothing. Nothing at all. Are you sure this is live? We should have juice going to that. Did you plug the cord back in? Stupid question. No, you didn't. What cord? The cord's unplugged from the generator. I can see it. It vibrated off? Oh my goodness. Try that. Turn the breaker off. Did that vibrate off or did I not plug it in? I hear a load. I heard a load. Fans on. Is it really? Oh yeah. So this is where we're going to end the trailer, right? Right where that tip out, that line on the tip out, that's where we're gonna cut it. And then somewhere right here where this door is. And then all this is wide open space. Crush is going to sit right in between the wheel wells right here because it's a tandem axles. I don't think we told them where the kitchen's going to go. The kitchen's gonna go right up here. We might build some cabinets along there and along there after Crush comes in. We see exactly where he's going to sit. The bathroom's gonna sit right here. We're gonna put the shower here. We're gonna put the toilet over here. I really like that bathtub. Jake didn't want, or uh, Jason didn't want to keep it, but we're keeping that thing. This thing's awesome. Look at this, it's a jacuzzi tub. You could fit like six people in there. Wouldn't that be a video? <laughs> we have two old doors. And what we're gonna do is have a walk through bathroom. So you'll have your garage and you'll have your living space. Crushmobile 101, we're out for the day. And last but certainly not least, the three winners from yesterday's giveaway, they include Caroline F, Jacob C, and Eddie H. Congratulations, you guys. I will contact you. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Uh.